All right, what's up YouTube? Rich McCoy again, um, bringing you another training on how to generate qualified solar leads in 2020 using Facebook ads. So uh, after I show you this, man, you really should know, even if you don't have a ton of experience, a little to no experience, you should be able to, right after this video, literally go right into Facebook Ads Manager and create a winning Facebook ad and literally generate leads within 24 hours. I'd say within 12 hours, depending on when you when the ad gets approved and when you launch it, like right away. This is not something that's on YouTube anywhere else, I guarantee you that. Um, so let's jump straight into it. So really, what you'll learn today is this. So obviously you'll learn how to set up Facebook ads to generate solar leads. I'm gonna give you solar lead ad copy that's proven, that actually works, that I use. I'm actually gonna give you about three different ad copy versions um, for you to you know copy, swap out your own information, city names, all that good stuff. And then questions to actually pre-qualify homeowners when we do send them to that lead form. Uh, what type of questions do you want to ask them for best practices? And also what videos or images that work best um, as far as what's put on the actual ads themselves to get engagement, to actually be eye-catching and to stop and grab attention. Um, so we're using Facebook. We're going to use traffic ads to send them to a lead form. We're going to use Typeform to actually uh, answer questions, get the information from the customers. Um, or from the leads rather. And then we'll use Google StopSnap.io for photos, stock photos and videos. And then I, I have a recommendation that I would use um, for actual media for ads itself. So let's jump on over to Ads Manager. And so right when you come in, let's see here. Right when you come in Facebook Ad Manager and you click create an ad on the left hand side, this is really one of the first place this is like the very first screen you'll see. Um, and then it'll ask, what's your marketing objection? So objective. So what type of ad are you looking to launch? And for this, we're going to do a traffic ad because we want to get a, uh, a big amount of people trafficked to our destination, right? So we're going to use traffic ad. Then you'll scroll down. I have a whole nother tab open with so many browsers and my computer is going super slow. You give it a traffic name. You just, you know, whatever your city is. Um, we won't cover split testing right now, uh, but to be honest, I don't do a lot of split testing of ads. I'll do split testings of audiences myself, but um, whole another video. So we'll do a traffic ad. You'll give it a name, and you'll give the ad set a name. Again, I would do uh, city, and then part of the de the, the demographic just to kind of keep keep up with the names. Uh, but I'm just going to leave that how it is for now, just for sake of demonstration. All right. So audience, um, here's the next spot that we're going to go to. And what I like to do here is go to location. And then most people will put in like their city or town or whatever. Like I'm in Kansas City. So the common thing that everybody else or a lot of people would do is they would type in Kansas City, right? Uh, Kansas City, Missouri. So that's where I'm at. And then Facebook does this. They'll just drop a 25 mile radius over wherever. Now, when you're starting and you you want to test winning ad formulas, ad copy, ad images, etc., uh, offers, all different types of stuff, you really don't want to or need to rather um, have such a wide range. Now, if you try to shrink this mile radius, Facebook will only let you go to about 10 miles. Um, what if you 10 miles is fine. Sometimes I like to tell people, depending on how dense of a city you're in, um, like where I'm at, it's not that dense. So 10 miles would be good for us, right? But if I'm in Dallas, for instance, um, the potential reach of people in a 10 mile radius uh, versus here is probably, I don't know, three to four to five times. I have no idea. I'm just guessing a lot more. So what you would want to do in a situation like that, and I would even recommend anybody doing it, is you would put in a actual address and it could be an address of uh, literally anything a gas station a school something in the city that you want to target so that you can have control of the mile radius this is how you can go under that 10 mile radius right so you can t actually take this down I'm not saying that you would ever want to go to a one mile radius but if you live in a really dense space ton of homes ton of whatever 
and you're like, man, with within five miles, I can get, you know, a quarter million people or whatever, uh, take it down in five miles, three to five miles. And then you do this in, you know, three to four to five different spots around town. There's really no reason to drop one giant 25 mile radius because you can get so much more out of your ad budget with smaller radiuses. Um, so again, let's go here. Let's go five. And so next, you'll select age. For this, I would recommend going anywhere from about 35, maybe even a little bit older, let's say 38 to 60. You can test, you can test this. Um, this is really kind of the sweet spot that I like to use. I mean, other, other, other people might give you a lower range, a higher, it, 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 it kind of, I don't want to say it's personal preference, but think about it. We're talking about homeowners. We're talking about environmental friendly people. We're talking about people who want to save money, people who a lot of them are starting to consider retirement. So they're starting to think about um, their income, a fixed income. And when you're on a fixed income, everything on your house, everything, you know, most things, expenses are paid off. That one variable expense is the electric bill. So a lot of folks are a little bit older, long story short, when they start to think about solar. So really that 40, 50, 60 range is where you're going to get the bulk of your solar customers. Now, obviously, 60, 70 year olds, um, a lot of them may not be you know, on Facebook typing out type form requests. Um, so that's why I'm doing 38 to 60. Uh, but again, test, test it out. All genders, um, from my experience, I get... And then you test different ad copies and ad images. Um, males, probably, I would say two out of every 10 um, lead, leads or link clicks are females. But I'll do all genders. And then for targeting demographics, you'll want to do things like, and I'll start here, married, right? Because a lot of people who are married often have, what else? Children. And if you want to go even more specific, middle, like the middle child, like middle range children, uh, nine to 12 year olds, et cetera, I'm just going to do parents all. Then also, I mean, a lot of this is really, really testable. Like solar leads is one of the things where you're really not going to have some super specific audience set where our country is still only two to 3% solar. So there's not going to be a ton of people out here who are on Facebook, you know, liking Tesla and loving all the solar pages and all that stuff. So a lot of it's going to be really, really common sense. All right. And so another one, um, so we got parents, we got married. Another one is going to be household income. And let's see, we're going to take that top 25 to 50% of zip codes. This is one that is I'll, I can, depend, if I'm testing a new area, like I'll come in and test it, I'll pull it out, et cetera. Like I'll do a lot of testing here. Not that huge. You can actually keep it a lot broader if you, depending on where you live. Again, if it's denser, if you have more people, you can test more things. Um, so income, parents, marry, uh, what else? A lot of people like to watch household projects on TV. You got a lot of moms, you got a lot of fathers, dads, some of them are retired. They have maybe not retired, but they're business owners. They don't work as much. They're home a lot. So they really love to be in the yard and doing stuff in the house. And they like to watch the HDTV and the Property Brothers. And it gets them thinking about all the things that they can do to the house and all that stuff. So believe it or not, these are all really good interests to target. Because these are very, very or, uh, popular rather Facebook pages, Fixer Upper. What else we got here? Flip this house, flip or flop, HTP, Dream TV. Like I would just get a couple of those. House Hunters is an, another good one. Lowe's, um, what's the other Lowe's? Home Depot for all the dads that like that handy project. These are the folks who are thinking about and constantly doing things to the home. Um, so they're obviously conscious of the way their home looks, improvement. And finances is going to be a big thing to them. And then, so believe it or not, one of the tricks with renewable energy is you would think like, oh, Rich, what about all the people who like solar? You can, no problem. 
tapping solar energy on here is 100% okay. But again, think about this guys, solar is still fairly new, depending on what city you're in. I'm in the Midwest. So if you're in the Midwest, in some places of the East Coast, where the adoption to solar is still on the rise, one, you are in an amazing position. You are in a blue ocean and there's a tremendous opportunity for you to dominate over the next two, three, five, ten years, right? To become that local expert in your place and to just blow up. But there's a lot of people who don't know about solar energy yet. It's not on every house on their street. They could go all year without seeing a home with solar. It's not like that in Texas. It's not like that in California or Florida. So a lot of people in some of our areas, again, depending on where you are, solar's not right in their face, right? So let's keep that pretty broad. There's some other different tricks and tricks, and maybe I'll make a, uh, another video on different insi or, uh, insights to test, but really you can go a little bit deeper on that on other like TV shows, interests, um, activities that they like to do, gardening, whatever, and I'll let you play around with that. Placements, let's move on now for the time for the sake of demonstration. Um, so where do you want to actually place your ad? So really there's only one place for solar leads that you want to place. So you want to uncheck all these boxes outside of Facebook. And on Facebook, the only place that you want to be is right here on the newsfeed. Anything else while you're still figuring out what you're trying to do is going to spin your marketing budget fast with little to no return, depending on, again, how your skill set is. Um, so make sure you uncheck all these. And to start, only run the Facebook news feed. That's where all the main attention is. Anywhere else, people are on the page and they are not paying attention. All the ads that you see on the side of the screen or that come up in the middle of a story, our minds are so like just desensitized when we block them out, like they hardly do anything unless it's something we really, 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 really want, something we've been searching for, something we have to have, right? Like solar is still fairly new. There's a lot of information. Some people don't understand it and we have to give them on that information in order for them to understand just how valuable it is and just how much value it can bring to their life. And that's not something that you can just quickly throw up in front of them in, in, a, in a Facebook, you know, story ad and then expect them to, uh, to, to click. Daily budget, I would recommend starting off uh, with something as little as like 25 bucks a day, um, anywhere from 20 to 50 bucks a day. Now keep in mind, you can, you can, the easiest way, let me backtrack a little bit. Let's go 25 bucks a day and then watch it. Depending on how much you want to spend, that's about 140 bucks a week, not a lot of money. If you do that, if you literally do at this point what I've done and what I'm going to show you, you will generate leads. Um, within 24 hours, right? So do 25 bucks a day to start and just let it run continuously and just watch it. If you're not getting link clicks, if you're not getting requests on the form that I'm gonna show you to build here, uh, pause it, go back to it, see what you've done, make sure that everything's in work in order, change the image, tweak the ad copy, uh, and then you retry it. But you wanna start off a little bit small before you ramp up. So 25 bucks a day, daily ad budget. We're gonna let it run continuously to start. Um, that brings us here to the next portion. So here you'll choose the ad name. I'm gonna leave that blank for the, for the purpose of demonstration again. And we're not doing anything on Instagram. So, I mean, your Instagram account might already be um, connected. If not, don't worry about it. Just come down to the image. You'll add a media. Now, Let's jump over to add copy because that's what you're going to put in the primary text is what I'm going to show you here. So here are some proven winning ad copies that I use to generate solar leads. Okay, so here's ad copy number one. Important. I would use emojis to start. Call out your city. Call out the utility company. 2019, you know, our utility company here is Evergy. Um, previously known as KPL, KCPL. And here, uh, guys, pause it, screenshot it. I'm gonna show you two more of these. These 100% work, they're proven. Uh, get it while you can, plug and play, let me know how it works. Um, but here's one, so it's gonna, you're gonna call out your local utility company up top, call out your city, highlight it, important, start off with a couple emojis. So we got important, 2019, your utility company. Smart meters expected to save $1,789 per household. 
The new 2019 solar program makes installing solar panels a lucrative answer to forecasted increases in, again, your utility company's electricity rates. Now homes in qualifying zip codes can switch to solar without a penny out of pocket. Yes, you read that right. So on and so forth. I'm not going to read all the ad copy. At this point, I'm just going to scroll down, give you the ad copy so that you can copy it, do what you need to do, and then let me know how it works. Just my, my gift to you, right? I want to make sure that... Uh, that if you're following me, you can get as much value as possible. I guarantee you that no one else is giving you their winning ad copies on YouTube or Facebook or anywhere else. Um, but it's getting really competitive, guys. Like all, all the ad copy and solar ad is that you see everywhere else is basically this. So it's it's not a secret, right? It's not a secret. You're gonna have to tweak things up as you go. But for right now, when solar is only two to three percent of the country. There's still so much opportunity out there, and these ad copies definitely work. So here's another here. So screenshot, pause, do what you got to do. And then I'll move this to the third, but obviously I'm not going to read through them because they're rather long. I don't know if we can see that or not. I can't even see that from here. So... Again, hope you got that. So what we'll do, and I'll show you once you do get that, what you do is, to copy or type it into the primary text. And then let's add media. So we're going to use one of my videos that I already have. Headline. How much are you paying in utility? Bills. So, as you can see on the right, your ad is starting to come alive a little bit. For this one, I use the video. I have a quick installation. Video obviously is king on Facebook. It's going to draw more attention. People will watch it. I can even, if I choose to, run retargeting ads for people who did watch the video and like the page. Um, so a video gives you a little bit more opportunities than just a photo. What I would recommend on this image, like obviously you can use stock images from Google. Like people open a bill and being surprised because the whole thing about solar guys is, and I tell this to my reps all the time, and once you finally understand it, it's going to really make a, a tremendous shift in your closing is stop selling solar and sell a lower bill, sell financial savings. That's what we're selling. We we are all saving the planet one solar panel at a time, and I love that, and it keeps me on fire about solar all the time. But at the end of the day, no one really gives a shit about saving the planet if it's going to cost them more money. If it costs them less money and you can save them 50 plus grand over the course of the next 25 years and they don't have to worry about you know college and trust funds and like it helps a family a ton, like that's where I get a lot of my like just excitement and passion about solar. It's not so much like, oh, the inverters and the panels and it's like, no. It's like being able to financially make a difference in someone's lives, especially the people who need it. Like that's that's the greatest. So if you don't, uh, stock photos are cool. If you can get, a, if, you, if you work for a solar company and you guys have installation videos, um, try to get one, even go out to the site of an installation, anything you can do from a phone really would work because it already fits what's going, what's being done on Facebook. But what I would do is I would take a selfie of myself uh, next to solar panels if I couldn't, if I didn't have my own installation videos because um, that's what's going to draw attention, right? So for the website, again, we're sending them to Typeform. Now, Typeform, if you're not familiar, you go to Typeform.com. Um, it's where you can get really uh, aesthetically a pleasing lead capture pages 
So once you create an account, you log in, it'll take you somewhere like here. And you can really choose from a bunch of different templates, templates, or you can start from scratch. And let's see, I'll just click on one. Um, super, super easy to use. What it'll, what it's gonna look like, guys, and I'll show you uh, one that I use right now on this up and running on my ads and that's doing really, really well. Um, and if you want, use the same series of questioning because it's placed in a way for a reason. So right off the bat, the question that I'm asking is, hey there, how much sun does your roof get? It's not, what's your address? What's your phone number? What's your email? You know, what's your name? Right off the bat. Because people are a little bit resistant to that. But this question, how much sun does your roof get? Right off the bat, it's intriguing. And the options, they're they're more intriguing. So you're kind of curious. You're like, hmm, I can I can answer that. He didn't ask my for my email. He didn't ask for, for any, how much sun does my roof get? It's, it gets some thinking, right? So either going to go morning, afternoon, or all day. Do that, word for word. Number one question, use that one. Number two, what's your zip code? We'll check to see if your utility company has extra incentives. Like, again, copy this, guys. It's gonna work. It's my gift from, from, from me to you. Number three, what is your average monthly utility bill? A, 50 to 100 bucks. B, 100 to 20. C, 200 to 300. D, 300 plus. Now, I don't know about you, but anybody who selects C or D and actually picks up the phone when I call them is like a done deal, right? Because they, it, 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 tremendous savings for anybody who pays over 200 bucks a month, 200, especially 300 bucks a month um, in electric bills. They have really high usage and or rates. And so you're probably going to save that family a ton, a ton, a ton of money. Now, obviously, if somebody's paying 50 to 100 bucks, why do they want to go solar? Don't count them out. Believe it or not, there are that very few percentage of people who do like solely care about the environment and they're willing to go solar just to do their part to save this planet based on everything that we've done wrong in the last, you know, 10, 20 years, etc. So list it out just like that. Um, very useful information as you reach out to them. What is your address? We use satellite imaging to see if your roof can fit the system needs to meet your energy. Wait, is that a typo? We'll use satellite imaging to see if your roof can fit the system needed to meet your energy needs. It is a typo. You get the gif though. Um, number five, what is your name, stranger? Nice to meet you. So this is the fifth question and we're just now asking what's your name. There's all the questions that you let up before. How much roof does your son get? How much are you paying in utility bills? You know, what's your zip code? What? They're very easy questions to answer and they don't feel too like personal right off the bat. So once your fifth question's in and I'm just now asking your name, haven't asked for email or phone or anything like that yet, you're, you're pretty much gonna finish the form. Um, and then what email should we send your custom solar design to? And then here's a picture from I use SolarGraph, just from, from one of the systems that I designed on there. So they get an idea of what they're going to get when we do get to that point, what they can expect to see as far as a, so, a custom solar design. Um, and then again, the question is strategically framed in a way that it's not, what's your email? And it feels like I'm ready to sell you something right off the bat. It's, hey, I want an email so that I can send you exactly what you're here to get, which is a custom solar system design. By the way, this is what it's kind of going to look like. And lastly, what's the best number to shoot you a text message when your design is ready? So we ask for that cell phone in the email last, and then we also ask for them in a way where it's not just you know impersonal and aggressive um, and actually explains and kind of gives value at the same time. So you'll take your type form link once you've created that page, you go back to your ad deal, and you'll paste it, right? And you'll see your ad here to the side start to shift. You'll see it pop up. Call to action, learn more, keep it that way. You don't want to use get quote. I have a lot of people ask, well, don't you want to put get quote there? Because they're looking for a quote. Saying get a quote is jumping way too far ahead and is going to make people not want to move forward. Learn more sounds a lot more friendly than get a quote. Plus they're not getting a quote right away. So from here, man, that's pretty much it. 
this is, like I said, it's super simple. It's very practical. It was step by step. I guarantee you no one else is, is giving away these type of secrets that 100% work. I've got results that this works. A lot of people use similar ad copies. A lot of guys, obviously, in a ton of niches use Typeform. I've been familiar with it for some time. You hit review or uh, you'll hit confirm. Your ad will go into pending review and you should be good to go. So let me know how this works. Again, I hope it was super, super helpful. Um, for more information on this, I'll be uploading more digital marketing for solar, um, sales mastery for solar, how to close more deals. Anything you want to know around marketing for solar and closing solar, solar sales mastery, which is what my specialty is. I'm a really great digital marketer, but even more than, than getting leads, I, I just thoroughly enjoy uh, closing deals and then training salespeople how to close deals. And the psychology behind everything around marketing and sales is is just what I enjoy to do. I'm a little off like that. So if you want a deeper dive into this, man, just jump on a call with me with the link below. I'll be more than happy to help how I can. Uh, and if this works for you, please reach out to me either on Facebook or here on YouTube and let me know. I love feedback on, on the videos and, and if they're of any value to you at all. Until next time, thanks guys. Thank <laughs> you.